this video, we will learn how to identify Bronsted lauric acid as well as its conjugate base and Bronsted lauric base with its conjugate acid in an equation. In order to do that, first we need to know the definitions of each one. I wrote them out here. Bronsted lauric acid is a proton donor, so it, it donates, it gives away a hydrogen ion. And Bronsted lauric base is a proton acceptor, so it accepts or it, it, it gets a hydrogen ion. Now, if we have an equation, if we look at this problem, and here we have some equations, uh, what we're supposed to do is first, we're supposed to look on the left side, which is the reactant side. And looking from left to right, we're supposed to ask, did this substance lose a hydrogen or did it gain a hydrogen? If it lost a hydrogen, it was bronsted lauric acid, proton donor. If it gained a hydrogen, it was bronsted lauric base, proton acceptor. So let's go ahead and look at that. We'll, we, we can go ahead and look at this um, formula, NH4+. Plus. What did it become on the right side? Well, we went from NH4 plus to NH3. Did it lose or did it gain a hydrogen? In this case, we went from four hydrogens to three. So this lost a hydrogen. Therefore, it was a proton donor. This one loses a hydrogen. So it must be the acid. I'm just going to call it an acid. Now, whatever it becomes on the other side will be its conjugate its conjugate pair. And so if you have an acid on one side, on the left side, you will have conjugate base, conjugate base on the right side. So we have NH4 plus is our bronze de lori acid because it lost the hydrogen and NH3 is its conjugate base. Now let's go ahead and look here. What happens to CN minus? Since we identified that this is an acid already, then this must be a base, but we will just double check. What happened to CN minus? It went from CN minus to HCN. So did it lose or did it gain a hydrogen? It gained the hydrogen. That's a bronsted lauric base. Bronsted lauric base is a proton or H plus acceptor. So this must be the base. And this must be its conjugate acid. So it's quite simple. You just have to look on the left side and see whether a hydrogen was lost or it was gained. And that will tell you whether you had a, an acid or a base. Let's look here. CH33N and we have CH33NH. So what happened? It gained a hydrogen. That's a bronsted lauric base. So we will say this is a base. And this must be its conjugate acid. And let's look here, we have water, H2O, and it became OH minus. Did it gain or did it lose a hydrogen? This one lost a hydrogen. If you lose a hydrogen, you're a proton donor, you're bronsted lauric acid. So this must be an acid with its conjugate base. Conjugate base. Sorry, I'm abbreviating it to write less. Okay. Let's go to, uh, to um, choice C. We have HCO, not choice, problem C. We have HCOH. What happened to it as it went to the product? It lost a hydrogen. If you lose a hydrogen, you donate a hydrogen, you donate a proton, so you bronze the lauric acid. So this must be my acid. And it became HCO minus, so that must be its conjugate base. Now, Let's look at this one. Since this was an acid, automatically this will be a base, but we will go ahead and we will double check. PO4 3 minus became HPO4 2 minus. What happened to it? It gained a hydrogen. Bronze lauric base is a proton or hydrogen plus acceptor. It gains a hydrogen. So this must have been a base. And this will be its conjugate acid. Now I want you to pay attention to something very special, which is a conjugate acid-base pair. Some students um, are very confused about what a conjugate acid-base pair is and how to identify it. Essentially, a conjugate acid and its conjugate base differ in one hydrogen. So if you have 
two molecules where the difference is only one hydrogen, such as CN minus and HCN. That must be the conjugate acid-base pair. If they differ in more than one hydrogen or if the formula is different, then it's not going to be a conjugate acid-base pair. Let's look at this. NH4 plus NH3 differ in one hydrogen. H2O, OH minus differ in one hydrogen. So if you have another question where a professor or a teacher asks you, is this a conjugate acid-base pair or not? You just have to see whether the pair where the, the two molecules are the same except for one hydrogen. And if they only differ in one hydrogen, then it will be a conjugate acid-base pair. This is my from Transformation Tutoring. I really hope that you're enjoying my lessons and I look forward to seeing you in more of my general chemistry and organic chemistry videos.